what's up guys and in here we have this uh, uh, sea animals sand pit and we are talking about the deep sea animals so guys and I returned because well I need to study a few things again because it's checkpoint like sixth grade you know if you have been gone in sixth grade you would have checkpoint and that's to me too that's why I couldn't make a video very soon I wanted to make a video about that one but now I'm making a short video for for some for the free time to spend the free time I think this set is a good start all right guys let's take the first thing we got this the, out of the sand is this giant isopod from safari ltd it's very nice however lacking those um gill slits and those uh, flippers to swim those fins to swim those like this this crustacean it's more related to crabs and lobsters because it's a crustacean more than the insects but this uh, is an isopod it's one of those cousins in the roly-poly those cousins in your backyard which are the roly-polies really small this one is very big like at least for the maximum is a little bit small a little bit slightly smaller than one meter or even one meter looks rather alien we'll put this giant isopod right here good start for a model not the best giant isopod but a very complicated looking isopod very nice detailed toy let's take the uh, next one anglerfish specifically the humback anglerfish sorry if i spelled it wrong but i think it's called melinocetus johnsoni johnsoni this anglerfish which is the scientific name for the humback anglerfish we can tell because of this of this hum on the, its like back near the peck the dorsal fin these are the pectoral fins these are the dorsal fins the small fin in here very w weird looking fish this toy shows how bizarre the deep sea is and let's get to even more bizarre things as usual i will put it here all right Taking a bizarre creature, here is the Chimera, Chimera Monstrosa, the ratfish. Now, specifically, I don't know what type of ratfish this is because the colors are misleading, but the sculpt is really good. It resembles the Colorata Chimera that they released because I've seen a, a few, um, only a few differences. The Colorata Chimera is also a male, so this could be the model. This one can be seen because it has claspers, which is the, um, for males, like the, you know, yeah, you get the point. This also, you can see this is only in males, you know, like to, yeah, let's just call it to attract. Yeah, like for the ladies, they don't have this. And it sounds awkward talking about it, but actually it's science, nothing actually wrong about it. But to just make this video not to, not to be like too inappropriate, we are just going to say that this is a male because of this. It also has the spikes and it's rather Asian because it has the missing link. It's like the weirdest thing. Put it here, a very bizarre animal. Let's take another one. Let's take the silicant, shall we? It looks funny. Now the silicant looks smart. Looks like a bootleg model from Safari Ltd. 
This one is a fake model, but I bought it anyways because I don't have access to the silicanth in here. It's too far, it's in America. And yeah, it's gonna be really expensive if I order it from eBay or any place like those places in America. So I just stick to the easiest route, which is this one. Very detailed and realistic. There's no problem with it. And it's one of my oldest models I have. It's so good. Well, I added this model because silicants are typically found 200 meters deep, which is also really deep. Like, you need to be a specialized diver to see this. And you can't see the sun in that time. This is deeper, you can't see with your own eyes. You need to have a submarine. Let's take the other one. Alright. Anglerfish. Yeah, I have this anglerfish. It's not the most nicest anglerfish, but at least it's a glow-in-the-dark anglerfish from Lego. It looks really, yeah, really stylized and too simple. I don't know what species of it this is, because it doesn't show any species. Not like this one. You can see it's a humpback anglerfish because of the hump on its back. Very nice. Let's take another one. Sorry guys, I'm not in the mood, I'm under the weather again, and well, I hope I it will go normal soon. Here is the dragonfish, the black dragonfish. The gender is very uh, unnoticeable because it has the head like a female, but the, oh, no pelvis, so it could be a male. We actually don't really know what gender is this. It looks. But other than that, it looks really accurate. Just lacking color colors. I wish there were more colors. To make it a little bit more colorful. Our next one is this. I know what you're saying. I know what you're wondering. Look! It's a king crab. Spider isn't it? crab. Oh, I'm sorry to say that you're wrong. It could be a snow crab. Wait. Uh, it could be a snow crab. It cannot be a spider crab. And and miss and don't include the king crab because of these long claws. And cannot be a spider crab because a spider crab is a true crab with four walking legs this one has three so it could be a snow crab or a sp or just a sp a very inaccurate looking spider crab but i hope it's a snow crab looks very nice but just looks a little bit more cooked i think col collect us a um, spider crab is that a spider crab no it has three legs as you can see on the screen just like this one so it cannot be a spider crab and it's labeled king crab all right here is an octopus it's glow in the dark here is a glows like the glass squid this is a crank squid, a glass squid, you can call it whatever you like. This is the glass squid. Very nice model. I think this is the only toy for those, for that species. Like you can't really find it very simply. It's hard, it takes guts to find something like this. But so far you made it easier so you don't need to make it from clay. Our next one is a gulper eel from Safari LTD. 
This one is a male because of its enlarged nose and large eyes, according to the article I read. And females are a little bit more stuff, like that one over there. There's another gopher eel. And here is one of them, which is quite small, but not the smallest of all of them. Put it here. And also put it here too. But first, let's just talk about the gopher eel. It can swallow m a, a fish more half more than its size. Compared to normal fish, they cannot swallow that much. And... Yeah... It's creepy, but amazing. Wonderful gulper eel. One of my most favorite sea animals. Our next one is a little bit, um, conf like, misleading. But, I think this one is a cusk eel or a, an eel pout. I also said this is a gulper eel baby, but no. Gulper eel babies are transparent like other eels. And this might be a cusk eel or a or a eel pout. Whatever it is, it looks really nice. Can't uh, say. Uh, all right, guys, take this one. This is a hatchet fish, and. The only part of this hatchet fish is the accuracy on the body, not on the face or these three fins. Missing a fin, some fins in here, but at least it's already very nicely detailed. A very good model from Safari LTD. Now I think we pulled off almost all of the deep sea tube except for the viper fish. We'll get into that later. First, we need to pull this out. Hey, look! It's a small hatchet fish. It looks like a piranha. It could be a piranha. But it also could be a hatchet fish. Except it's missing this long tail part. So it could be more time for a piranha. But because of those bio bioluminescent organs, you can see there, it's probably a hatchet fish half piranha. Here is a colossal squid. A very stylized one, supposed to be a kraken. Not the best one, but I wished I had it. Well, I do have it. Alright, move to the next one. Here is a basking shark, not really a deep sea creature, but they tend to go to the deep sea at night. And, yeah, very nice model from Collecta, I'm looking for, for them to make more sharks, this year they made the goblin shark and the angel shark, and both of them are very simple, but really well, like, really complex, like this basking shark, look at its skin, it's identical to the real one, that's how realistic it is. Next, we have this Chapmay Viper Fish. Strangely, Chapmay called it a anglerfish the first time they released it in the Lion Predator set. And yeah, it misled some people and they started calling it anglerfish. And now I wish they learned about something that these are not really viper fish like yeah they're more viper fish viper because they're really long than anglerfish anglerfish are stubby and small like short this one is a little bit longer and it's the only one with this luminescent um lure let's get the other two viper fishes here is one, and this rubbery viper fish from Sea Monsters and Co. This is the Selene's viper fish. Selene's viper fish, what do you call it? I think Selene's viper fish. That's what it's tagged on, It what it says. 
and it's a pretty good Viperfish model. It just looks a little bit uh, vintage and it's very vulnerable to losing color. But well, old animals face that. Here is the Viperfish from Safari LTD and it's the most inaccurate and the, and the most underrated Viperfish I could see because of how inaccurate it is. We don't have much time since it's already past like 12 minutes. So I'll end this video for now and make another one and I'll call it part two. Look for that one.